Milford Chrysler with Bill Rosado, who I'm very excited to talk about today. He's one of the sponsors of the Black Bear Film Festival. And I found out something really interesting. He has been a supporter of the film festival for how many years? Since uh, 2000. I was the Since first uh, sponsor. I got, I got to meet the first sponsor of the film festival. Well, that's really exciting. Um, been very glad to be part of it since day one. Well, we're very glad to have you. So I'm going to ask you kind of like a personal question. How many bears do you have? I only own two bears. You only own two bears? I only own two bears. I'm ashamed to say that. No, you never be ashamed. But I had the to... first bear that was ever made, so... Tell, what is that one. bear's name? I honestly don't remember the name, but uh. it was beautifully made. It has this nice, um, like, a, like a leather covering. It's absolutely beautiful. So he's a very special bear yes, to he you. Is. And, yes. and what's your other bear? The other one, it's sitting right behind us, sitting behind the car. I think it was the fire bear, which one of my nephews actually did. Your nephew did a bear for us. That's great. So it's yes, like an, an all in the, he's an artist, and it's kind of all in the family. Yes, he and made me buy it. He made. <laughs> isn't nepotism great? Absolutely. So, tell me about the bear that you guys have supported this year. As far as the, the sponsor, um, tell me about the bear you're sponsoring this year. Well, this year we sponsored that the the bear that's in front of our, our uh, local bar, Jive. Okay. Right, right, you know, right downtown. I, yeah, I remember seeing. What is that bear called? You would know more than I do. Uh, what is the name of the bear? It's a bear with no name. I don't remember the name. We'll of the come bear. up with a name before well, the festival. We totally will have a name before the festival. And as soon as we finish this interview, I'm going to go over there and personally meet the bear. We'll go ahead and name the bear today. <laughs> so you did at least get to see the bear, right? Yes, we have a horse with no name. Now we have a bear with no name. Uh, right, riding on the desert yeah, with a <laughs> horse with no name. But that bear will have a name before the festival. Oh, I'm sure. so So, do you like the bear? It's a, it's, it's, it's a beautiful symbolic um, um, ingredient to the film festival every year. And it was, of course, with all the beautiful live bears that we have around here, what a, what a great It's perfect, bear it right? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Well, that's, why we, that's where the name, I guess, Black Bear Film Festival came from. People really look forward to coming and um, doing the auction at the end and bidding on the bears. Yes, and pay too much for the bear, but we're doing it for the festival. We, right. we, we're doing it. We're doing it for the community. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Why do you think a film festival is so important to the community? Well, it exposes um, a, a lot of people to films that are not just necessarily commercial driven. A lot of the films that are shown at the, at the film festivals is the fact that are, are films that. You have a lot of culture. You have a, a message that can deliver, be delivered only to a method like that. Right, they're not necessarily an independent trying, film. Exactly, they, exactly. They're not looking to for the profit side of the of the film, but more so the message. The, the message, film. or even the art of the film, wouldn't it, you say? Yes, yes, and it gives some of these filmmakers, young filmmakers, an opportunity. Exactly. But otherwise, it's it, it, it's impossible for them to achieve because of the financial con competitiveness of the uh, film industry. Well, and here at Black Bear, we feel that what you're saying is really important, and we've involved the schools this year in a, an initiative. We have um, the kids not only working on films, but they're making commercials for us that are going to play during the festival. And they're great. They're really, I cannot believe the talent and the fact that we've got all these like really young filmmakers in this area. You know, you told me that today. I wasn't aware of that, which is a, 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 great. That's great news, because today, Young kids, young people are able to do films and put them out to the internet, to YouTube. It's amazing the work that they do. They're, te just, they're oh. technologically oriented. Oh, yes. So a little different than the way you and I grew up. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, right. I love it. I've lumped you into my category. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I grew up silent films when I was young. No, no, we, we know they weren't silent. Now, you personally, you were talking with me before, you, you love film. You told me you just love film. I have a passion for independent films. I truly do film. It, I have no problem reading subtitles because I have found that most of those films have a such a, um, a unique message. Right. Based on the culture of where they are. A lot of them, are, of course, are foreign films. But the only way you can get through a foreign film is with the subtitles. It, it, exactly. And it's just so interesting to see. And, uh, and you can tell to a great degree the acting. There's a certain passion that the actors have in independent films that you don't get. You don't, you don't get that phony act. Because you don't have the big dollars tied right. up in the independent films. Yeah, tremendous They're, passion. Right, right. There are projects of passion, as yes, we say. Yes. And um, many times it's somebody's personal dream. And the actors that work on these films and the directors and the people producing them, it, 
you know, no one's making a lot of money on them, so they just want to get their message out there, and that's what becomes important. And it, it makes a big difference not having a big studio breathing down in there. Yeah, because it may have to adhere to their rules, and the message may actually have to, have to change, because they are their goal is, you know, is actually to earn money. Exactly. Know, so it's, it's a, I mean, I understand what they have to do, but this is a totally different um, ingredient when you go to an independent It's a film. different ingredient, and the reason for film festivals like this is exactly that. We want to expose the public to exactly what you're saying. Hey, getting the youth involved, I mean, I, I got you congratulating that thought. I didn't think Thank of that, you. but getting the, uh, <laughs> getting the, uh, the young kids involved, is um, it, it, it's the future. I mean, uh, young kids have to see this, and film festivals, you know, a lot of them struggle over yes, the years. Yes, they do. I mean, I think, fortunately, I think, a good job has been done with this, with this small festival, uh, and I think he has a tremendous future. I agree. And I'm glad that you're getting young people involved. Well, thank you. And we are, too, here at the Black Bear Film Festival um, with Bill Rosado. Thank you for supporting us. Um, I guess I'm going to see you at the festival. Oh, you, uh, I never miss it. You never miss it? No, no, I, I'll definitely be you, there. Are you one of the people that buys the tickets and sits there all day? You know, not necessarily. You know, I, I, a lot of it, um, the wonderful thing, additional from the film, from just the films, the social aspect of it, the community gets together. So often I get in a conversation with someone whom I haven't seen, seen them since the year before and don't get to see as many films as I like to, but that's okay. Because that, that's not, it's not just the, 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 uh, the, the movies, it does bring a community together. Films bring community together and it lets people connect with each other. Absolutely. So Super. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. My pleasure.